Welcome to episode three of Queen Creek, Que Paso, where each and every week we're going to take a look back at the previous week and talk about all things Queen Creek, including the real estate market, new businesses, upcoming events, and the like. I'm your host, John Farron, and I'm a realtor with the Farron Group at Home Smart Lifestyles right here in Queen Creek. Now, don't get sucked in by the media and various YouTubers who are declaring doom and gloom in the real estate market. As of March 15th, the pending listings across the Phoenix metro area show an average list price per square foot of $300.43. Now that's up 2.5% from where things stood last month on February 15th. Now among those pending listings, 99.3% of them are normal sales. 0.1% are bank owned properties and only half of 1% are homes that are in pre-foreclosure. And here in Queen Creek this past week, we saw 35 homes close escrow, and these homes are priced between $340,000 and $950,000. If we look back to the same time period last year, there were 49 homes that closed escrow, and those prices ranged from $397,000 to $998,000. Now, as of this recording, there are 482 active listings in the town of Queen Creek. The average list price last week was $614,000 with the average sold price coming in at just over $603,000. Homes were selling at 98% of their list price and they spent an average of 83 days on the market. Interest rates closed out the week at 6.55%. Today the population of Queen Creek is approximately 71,000 people which means it has more than doubled since 2015 and it's only expected to increase at a steady pace. So the town of Queen Creek has a variety of land available to develop, including utility served industrial sites and learning more about these sites just got easier. Queen Creek recently launched an interactive map showing industrial property for sale and lease. Now this map helps site selectors, industrial developers and prospective businesses easily find sites that fit their needs and their projected timelines. Not only does the map include industrial inventory that's available for development, but it also includes the location of utility lines, future roads, zoning and acreage, all in one centralized place. I'll go ahead and put a link to that map in the description down below. Annie Jr. is coming to the Queen Creek Performing Arts Center. Based on the popular comic strip, Annie Jr. features everyone's favorite little redhead in her very first adventure. Annie's determined to find the parents who abandoned her years ago on the doorstep of an orphanage run by the cruel Miss Hannigan. Annie eventually foils Miss Hannigan's evil machinations, finding a new home and family in billionaire Oliver Warbucks, his personal secretary, Grace Fennell, and of course, that lovable mutt named Sandy. Now the show runs April 21st through the 24th and tickets are available online. Oh, and my granddaughter's a cast member. Roots and Boots took place this past weekend at the Horseshoe Park and Equestrian Center. Now this is a, uh, an event that was sanctioned by both the Pro Rodeo Cowboys Association and the Women's Pro Rodeo Association. Of course they have all of the standard rodeo events including bucking broncos, steer wrestling, bull riding, and women's barrel racing. My family was there Friday night and we had a great time. Now it might have been my first ever rodeo but it certainly won't be the last one. Be sure to check in each week on Monday mornings for the latest episode on Queen Creek, Que Paso, and get caught up on the week's prior happenings and all things Queen Creek. Que Paso is a production of the Farron Group at Home Smart Lifestyles. I'm John Farron in Queen Creek, and we now return you to your previously scheduled YouTube surfing.